hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you are doing good so in this video i am going to show you how can you use a switch node in the node red so basically we are using this switch node for a condition loop okay so based on the conditions we are going to give the responses so before proceeding further if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe so without wasting time let's get started so we are in the noted screen now so let's start the flow so first of all i am taking the inject node so i will be providing the inputs here with the number okay so that will be one so i will be taking input as one okay this will be my input so second i need to take the switch node so where i will be passing some conditions based on that conditions the function will execute okay so i'll be writing the name for this so looping conditions let me add the values also here so i'll be passing equal to equal to 10 and second condition will be not equal to 10 so these are my two conditions which i'm going to pass so you can see in the front that there are two responses are coming so i am taking the function node here so basically i am passing the values and incrementing it by 1 so by one is nothing but the input which i have provided in the first that is in the trigger node okay so where data is equal to message dot payload so i will be incrementing this data up to 10 data plus 1 written message okay so this is an incremental function so same thing i need to return back to the switch node until the condition is met so debugger node to check out the results so i'll be taking another function node drag and drop it here okay so i'll be writing here so the message when the conditions are failed so that is when the or when the input value reaches to the 10 this response will be displayed that is when 10 is the input value 10 is equal to is equal to 10 so in that case this message going to be displayed in the debugger message is equal to response finally the debugger node to check the final response click on deploy this is my final response node one more thing i need to make changes here that is instead of message it should be a message dot payload not a message okay same way we have to make changes here also so we will be triggering now 
so you can see that you can see that a loop has been happened so counting from 1 to 9 so when the conditions is met with a 10 final responses you can see below so we looped 10 times that is the final result so this is one of the useful node which you frequently used in your projects so kindly go through this flow if you have any queries please comment down below please like this video and kindly subscribe my youtube channel thanks thanks a lot